Hey, good morning, Lawn Care Nuts. So it is Sunday, July 5th, and actually today I had some huge plans for videos, but it's gonna have to be delayed just a few days. Those of you who are regular subscribers remember that I did a video just two weeks ago on how to spray weeds, pretty much step by step. But there's actually one piece, a step extra that you can go when you have a tough weed like clover. So the video is gonna be delayed just a little bit because I've gotta go out of town on business to Miami, yeah. So that's it for Miami. Well, hello and good morning, Lawn Care Nuts. Are you ready for this weekend? I've got so much going on. Back from Miami now. So today we've got a lot going on, but the biggest thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and spray some clover and I'm gonna use a special ingredient found at Walmart. I'll show you a quicker way to kill that clover in your lawn. But before we do that, I've got some problems that I need to address right away, starting with that. My neighbor who I dominate, he actually mowed some stripes yesterday and he pointed them right at me. Them's fighting words in my neighborhood. My reaction has to be swift and stern. I've gotta let them know where I stand. I'm not joking here. The other thing is my lawn is super overgrown. It's been such a rainy summer, like freaking crazy rain almost every day, growing like nuts. So when I go ahead and mow today, I'm gonna have to mow twice, so it's gonna take extra long, which doesn't bother me, because you guys know, it's one of my favorite things to do. Okay guys, so let's talk about clover. Now the first thing is the weed control that you want to use for clover, pretty much any general purpose three-way uh, weed control that you can get from the store is going to work. Most are going to have some 2,4-D, dicamba, the weed controls that you can get over the counter are going to work just fine for clover. Now the real challenge we have with clover happens to be something that is actually at fault with water and that's called surface tension. What surface tension does is it causes the water to beat up on top of the weeds. Like you see in the pictures that I took here last time we did a weed spraying video. See how the weed control isn't really absorbed on the leaf? Or it's not spread evenly, I guess would be the way to say it. It's actually beat it up on top. And this is exactly why I talk about using the fan tip nozzle. We want to go ahead and get the finest mist possible when we are spraying our weed control so that more of the smaller droplets will come in contact with the broadleaf weeds surface. And you can see that even without the trick I'm going to show you today, we do get some pretty decent results by using a super fine mist to spray our clover. Let's take a look. So you can see by just using best practices with our weed control, we can still get some pretty decent results on clover. Now again, we're in the middle of the summer here and the best time to spray clover is actually the fall after September, after it's done flowering. But there is a way to make weed control work better, especially on these tough weeds like clover. And that is to use what's called a surfactant. I love the term surfactant. It's like some sort of thing out of like British royalty. Sir, bring me my surfactant. 
A surfactant is a chemical that actually breaks down the surface tension of the water. It can be used for sand to help wet the sand. Another reason why these are also called wetting agents or stickers. But in our case, we're going to use it so that this sticks or wets better on the surface of the weed. The better coverage you can get, or the better wetting of the weed with the chemical, the better results you're gonna get. Now, the best thing about this is we don't have to go and buy a professional surfactant from some sort of a chemical distributor. We can actually go right to Walmart. And the very best surfactant is one that you've used probably since you were born, and that's baby shampoo. Baby shampoo is a surfactant also, because the surface tension of water makes it so that it can't get the grease and oil out of your hair. So a surfactant helps to get that water down in there and separate that oil from the hair follicles. Chemistry, science. The other nice thing about baby shampoo is, is just as it's safe for your little one's eyes, it's also safe for your little one's lawn. Not gonna hurt a thing. So essentially, all you have to do to make your weed control work better for clover or any other weed is to add a surfactant. In this case, we're gonna use the baby shampoo. Cheap, easy, and effective. Let me show you how to mix it. So now I'm at the point where we were last week and I'm gonna link you in the description below to the video that I did that shows you everything you need to know about how to spray weeds. So I'm at the point where, for those of you who've watched that video, I'm three quarters filled and I've applied my weed control um, at the recommended dosage, okay? So that's been all put in here. Now it's time to add our surfactant, which again is gonna be our Johnson's Baby Shampoo. And you just get the most generic, original baby shampoo you can get. I don't need antibacterial or any other stuff in it. The original formula is what you want. Now the key here will be to not let it foam up or bubble up too much. Okay, now for how much do you add? You wanna add one ounce of baby shampoo for every gallon of mixed weed control. And you're gonna put it right in here. Again, we're at three quarters full. It's gonna work really well just as it is. Now because of the consistency of the baby shampoo, it's a little bit thicker, you're gonna to have to do a little rinse out here. So the first thing you do is you pour it in nice and easy. Unkink your hose very carefully keeping the hose and the nozzle and everything out of the mixture. That way we can go ahead and get everything rinsed out there. And then we're gonna go ahead and continue our fill. Again, never letting the hose touch this mixture and actually stay above and out. Now you don't want it to bubble up, that's the big issue. You gotta take this and fill this up fairly slowly, otherwise it's gonna bubble up big time. And one other thing we're gonna do just to make sure that we've got this agitated enough is just get a paint stirrer. This is a wooden one. Probably not best practice, but get a paint stirrer and just stir up the mix a little bit. You don't want to create a huge foam bubble here, but we definitely want to get this mixed in just to make sure that surfactant is completely through this mix and properly agitated. From here, you're going to spray using the same best practices as I showed you last week, fan tip nozzle, getting as small of droplets as possible. Now let's go ahead and compare last week's pictures without the surfactant to after I spray this week to what it looks like. By the way, it smells great. So there you go guys, there's how you use a surfactant to make your weed control work better, especially on those tough weeds like clover. I hope this tip has helped you. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut, and I will see you in the lawn.